Hello there, everybody! What is up, guys? This is Reese, or Brushhead Cub, and welcome back to our Tech It Let's Play adventure. And have I got some news for you. For those of you guys with sharp eyes, you may have noticed that Tech It Light has come out. That means we are now playing Tech It Classic. So I have a question for you guys. Do we continue to play Tech It Classic and just ignore Tech It Light? Do we do Tech It Classic and Tech It Light, or do we kind of phase out Tech It Classic and we start doing Tech It Light instead? You guys let me know, put that down in the description. Or not the description, you don't put that in the description. You put that in the comments, let me know what you want to do. In the meantime, of course, we're going to finish out this season regardless of what happens. And that means completing our power adventure quests. Whatchamacallit, whatever you want to call it. That, that means today we're going to be building geothermal generators for the lava. And as you can see, we got a little bit more lava than we did in the last episode. And that is because I broke these blocks and replaced them with marble so they look better. And in the process, of course, I kind of toggled the lever while trying to break it. So, mind that a little bit more lava. Not that you guys probably care. I'm sure you don't. Let's look up our geothermal generator. Now, we have the Mark II. We're just going to ignore that. And uh, <laughs> I, I still don't know what it does. Geothermal generator. We're going to need some glass. We're going to need some empty cells. And we're going to need a generator. And you know what? As it happens, we have a generator. We have one right there. We just need to get it off of there. And to do that, we're going to need some wrenches, which means we're going to need some bronze. So let's, let's have a look around here. That means we're going to need some tin. We're going to need some copper. And if I'm not mistaken, you usually do this. I normally do this with dust. But I've been told that you can do it with just the the bars. And am I doing this wrong? Someone said it would work on Feed the Beast. I'm not sure if it works in Tech It. And it doesn't appear like it does. So we will need the macerated dusts. Could be wrong. Could be doing this wrong, right? Copper and tin. But let's go ahead and get the macerated dusts. Copper and... That's silver. Where is tin? I need tin ore. There's tin. Go get these macerating. Nope, not electrical furnacing. Oh, what have we got here? Iron. Fantastic. Don't need that, though. Nice to have it. And what I'm trying to do right now is make bronze... Uh, not bronze. Yeah, bronze. Because that's what we need to create... Right here. Bronze. Created with the bronze dust, which is created using one tin and three copper. And we need that to make a wrench, which we'll need to break the generator without destroying the generator. So, let's see. We need one more piece of copper dust... And we're going to wait patiently. No, we're not. We're going to let that run. And we're going to look around. Look outside. Look, we've got some floating bones. Fantastic. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Boom. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't sound good, did it? Here we go. This thing is almost out of power, but we're not going to worry about it. Because we're about to start making a lot of power. Once we have our geothermal generator up and running. Come on. There we go. Tin dust. Fantastic. So we go, and we can actually do this right here. Tin, copper, boom, bronze. We're going to need more than that, though. Uh, we're actually going to need a lot more than that. But you know what? Let's let's cheat a little bit. And when I say cheat, I don't mean... Oh, yeah, I do. We're going to cheat. We're going to use the, the transmutation tablet, because this does have an EMC value. And do we have EMC in the table still? That's right. We had EMC from the table from a few videos back. So that... Oh, I felt bad. But we're not going to worry about it. Cheat a little bit. It's okay. That's one thing that I believe was removed from Ticket Light is the the equivalent exchange. I don't know if they moved from e equivalent exchange 2 to 3 or if they just completely removed it. I guess we will have to see, though. And that's as far as that's going to go since we ran out of power. Let's just go do another quick swap. We will give you 11 of these for 11 of these. There we go, 11. And then a wrench is built just like you think a wrench would be. So let's... I forgot. <laughs> let's. Oh, we could actually make an electric one, but that would need a wrench, an electric circuit, and a re-battery, and I'm just not feeling game for that. What? What? What on earth? That's... That was weird. Let's, there we go. Yeah, it looks like a wrench. It shouldn't be too difficult. There's a creeper right outside my door. There we go. So we've got our wrench. Gonna break this sucker down. Yes, we got our generator. Our electric furnace. What? Oh, man, it didn't work. It turned into an electric furnace instead of a generator. Oh, man. That's okay. 
Alrighty guys, listen, it's been a while since I've had to hack a video, but after that I felt the need to hack in and just say, go easy on me for that one, okay? I don't know what was wrong with me when I recorded this, but I'll catch on, or I will catch on. Just give the video about five minutes, okay? And go easy on me in the comments. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. We'll just, we'll just, how do we turn an electric furnace into a geothermal generator? We'll need three refined iron and a rebattery. Well, we know how to do that. That's easy. Let's see. A rebattery is just 10. No, it's not right at all, is it? <laughs> rebattery. I think we just need a, a copper cable on top of that. Let's see. Copper cables. Watch this be just absolutely completely wrong. No, there we go. Rebattery. And then three refined iron. Shouldn't be too hard to find. We've got iron in our inventory, so. Hmm. There we go. Right there at the bottom. One, two, three. Should be up here. Oh, stop it. There we go. And where is. What'd I do with it? There it is. I'm not going to lie. I just looked at the picture and I already forgot it. Well, we had it right, didn't we? Two, three. Rebattery, got that. Refined iron, got that. Iron furnace. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. We broke the furnace, not the, the gener. Oh man. That was. <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, that was funny. You, you you can't you can't lie. That that was kind of funny. I mean, this whole time I and it was a no nah, mm, no not funny at all. No, not funny at all. In that case, let's just pretend that didn't happen. What else do we need for this build? Glass and some empty cells. And empty cells are really easy to make. It's just four tin. I guess it's sixteen of those. And we already have glass, so let's get that recipe up there. Find iron. Four pieces of glass, two cells, and a generator. Gives us a geothermal generator. There we go. Now we need to build a redstone engine to pump out our lava. So redstone engine will be right there. And that's just wood, glass, some wooden gears, and another one of these pistons. So let's start with the piston here. We're going to need two of these. So let's get all that gear. I think we probably actually already have it all, don't we? Just need some cobblestone. Cobblestone. And our redstone might already be in the chest, is it? Yes. All right, so let's get the recipe up there for this. Wood. I don't have enough wood. Go figure. Okay. And let's get the recipe up there again. Okay. One, two, three pieces of wood. One, two, three, four pieces of cobblestone. One piece of iron. One piece of redstone. That'll create a piston, and we need two of those. Next up, we're going to need more wood. So one, two, three. We're going to need our pistons. And actually, we need to make those, those uh, wooden gears first. And we're going to need how many? Four. Okay. So that's two. No, we only need two. Yeah. No, we need four because we're... Yeah, okay. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four of those. Alrighty, we need a bit more wood. So three pieces of wood across the top. One piece of glass. Pistons. Wooden gears. And that'll give us a redstone engine. And what else do we need? We need some... Um, we're going to need a redstone transport... No, no, we're going to need a wooden transport pipe, aren't we? Not a weeden. That doesn't make any sense. Wooden transport pipe, and I think it's got to be waterproof. So just a wooden transport pipe, really easy to make if we had glass, which we don't. Can we get some out of here? No, we can't get any out of there. That's, oh, no, we're all out of power, so we can't, oh, okay, we're going to have to go old school here. Put the glass in there with some coal. Ugh, ugh, way back in the day. Do we have any waterproofing left? Looking for waterproofing. Looking for water in all the wrong places. Anyway, we've got some cacti. 
thought for sure we had waterproofing left, though. Oh, I'm sure it's in there. I'm sure it's in there, and I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, hey, look. Waterproofing. Hoorah. Okay, so... Glass. Wood. Wooden transport pipe. Wooden waterproof transport pipe. We need two of those. And what else are we going to need? I think we're going to need some more... We're going to need some more piping because we ran out of our gold piping. Actually, you know what? No, we don't. I've got an idea. Let's simplify this a bit. This is a bit extravagant. All we really need is it for it to go in right here. There we go. Alright, so that gives us six. So how are we going to do this? Hmm... Can you feed a geothermal generator through the bottom, or does it have to come in through the top? I wonder. I guess we can find out. Here's what I'm thinking. Clear out an area below here. There we go. And we're going to put the redstone engines... Ooh, ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Well, it looks kind of cool. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's see. If we put the redstone engines on the ground, we can have the pipes pull out and go over. Hmm. That won't work because then we'll still have pipes on the surface layer here. I think, if anything, we want them to run around, along that back wall where they're kind of out of view. Hmm. Well, if we do this, put these up in the wall, right, and then we have both of the pipes pump down and then run under here, or actually, we already have our machines over there, so we'll run it that way. All right, we'll have it come up into an MFSU. Well, no, we'll, no, we won't. We'll have it come up into an MFE. I think that's a bit more reasonable at this point. Um, maybe not. Does this thing produce a high voltage or a low voltage? I guess we'll find out when I start pumping out power and trying to store it into something and it blows up. I guess we'll find out at that point. So let's run up our pipes together. And we'll have it come out right... Right here, I guess, is a good place. With our geothermal generator. We'll feel in, feel in? We'll, we'll seal in everything. We just need to get those things powered now. So we're going to power those with a couple of switches. I guess we could make switches. That would probably be the easiest thing to do. And we wouldn't be wasting redstone by making switches. So there we go. I guess some call them lovers. I guess some call them levers as well. All right. One lever here. One lever here. Power these on. And is that working? Yes. That is working. We'll just leave one on for now. No. 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 Not good. Is it doing what I think it's doing? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, so what's happening here is the lava is going down and then up to here. So what we're going to have to do is put in a another waterproof pipe, this time an iron one, and it'll tell the lava not to send anything back up this chute or back down that direction. So to do that, we're going to go back in here, and we're going to need a couple of iron and a piece of glass, which we appear to be out of. There we go. Iron, glass, gives us our iron transport pipe, and we're going to need some more cactus green to turn into more waterproofing. And we only need one of these pipes, so we'll only worry about making one of them. There we go. 
iron waterproof pipe. I didn't realize the lava had dried out like that. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Break that piece. Put this one in. That's not correct. Still not correct. Darn it. Still not correct. All right. I think that what we're gonna what we're gonna have to do here is build another kind of wrench. To, yeah, because this one won't work on it. So what we're gonna do here is look up. I think a screwdriver is actually what we need for this mod. So screwdriver is just a piece of iron and a stick. Easily enough done. Stick. Iron. Screwdriver. There we go. And then I believe all we have to do is right click on this thing. Or left click. Nope. Definitely definitely not that. It's left, left clicking? No? Wrong, wrong mod? Wrong mod. It's not a screwdriver. Forget I ever said anything about a screwdriver. What we need is a, another wrench. <laughs> Which is going to be a stone gear and three pieces of iron. So, this just keeps getting more and more fun. We've got plenty of iron. What we need is stone gears. Which can be made. Give me some more sticks. Some cobblestone. And then iron. And somehow or another, that makes a wrench. This should be the correct one. To change the orientation on this thing. Perfect. Okay, so see these lines here? These solid lines? This means that something can pass through, but it can't go back. So it can pass through here, and it can pass through here, but it can't go back to either one. Let's give this a quick test out. Power that on. And actually, this thing should have already gotten some lava. So, oh, yeah, it's got power. Stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I don't want to keep wasting lava. If it's full on power, it's not going to make any more. Although this will fill up, so that's acceptable. Now what we need to do is see what happens when we attempt to plug in just a regular power source. Oh, I got the feeling this is all going to blow up. Mm, yeah. Let's get some higher, higher cable. Well, no, let's stick to our lower cables. Where are our... Where'd I put them? This isn't gonna end well at all. At all. Oh! Hey, hey, hey! It works! It works! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Fantastic! So it will feed into a lower voltage machine. That's great, because I don't feel like making a better one right now. So let's put this down. We're gonna need to break this. Change the orientation this way. Put that there. There we go. So we've got our macerator. Let's get that electric furnace back out that we broke earlier and had to fit over. There we go. Alrighty, guys. And there you have it. We are creating power with lava. And look at all the lava we still have. Oh, man. All right, let's fill in the ceiling, the floor here. And actually, I think I'm going to move those switches up here so that I'll have easier access to them from the surface. Oops, didn't mean to do that necessarily. But whatever. Where'd they go? There we go. Lever there. Over there, that way I can toggle them on and off when I need power. Same over here, I can just toggle these on and off. Oh man, guys. Oh man, this is just... This is fantastic. I've never done this before. I've never made power using the uh, the geothermal generator, so I'm excited. I'm happy to see that this is working. That thing is almost full. This thing is still just churning away making power. These are turned off, right? Yeah. Well, great. Great. I feel like I shouldn't waste this power, so I'm going to do something with it. Let's macerate some stuff. And, uh, make some more basalt. Alright, I'm, I'm just going to leave that running. Alrighty, guys, thank y'all for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is cool for me. This is cool. Of course, of course, we're going to we're gonna work on making this better. This isn't the 
the end all fix to this. This can so be improved. This is just sort of like the beginner's beginner's version. We can find better ways to power the pump. We can find we're, we're going to look into what this geothermal generator Mark II is. Definitely going to be looking into that. And of course, we still got oil to look into. But what I want to know: Tech it or Tech it light? Let me know, guys. Tech it classic, Tech it light. Let me know what we should do, and I'll 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 get to it. In the meantime, though, this has been Resource Brush Yet Cub. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.